Hey guys! Are you fond of racing games but tired of restless and unstable gaming chairs? Nobody wants to face any discomfort or distraction when they are immersed in almost real-world racing. A game seat unveils all the thrills and fun involved in racing in a unique and risk-free manner. There are a number of options on the market which makes it difficult to choose the best one. In this video, we compiled a list of the top 5 best racing simulator seats on the market today. Be sure to watch till the end for our best recommendation. If you want more information or updated pricing on the products mentioned here, check out the links in the description below. If you have another product you'd like us to review, let us know by leaving a comment down below. So without further ado, let's get started. First we have Play Seat Revolution. Buyers are greatly inclined to this simulator because of its adjustable seat distance from pedals, pedal angles, and steering wheel distance. They also found the instructions simpler and more detailed than ever. Its pros are, it has quick and effortless steps of assembly. It applies to all steering wheels and pedals available. It has a collapsible seat and modifiable wheeling positions. It boasts a brilliant, long-lasting, and robust silver-coated metal construction. And it is recommended with PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, Xbox, Xbox One, Xbox 360, Wii U, Mac, and PC. However, the seat does not recline, and it is not recommended for ages below 14. Bottom line is, they are glad about its versatility. They can use it with a large number of consoles, and this video game chair is enviably super efficient. Next we have Conquer Racing Simulator. It's no secret that this unit is best known for its win in the field of sustainability. The steel body is able to remain unaffected despite the heavy burden on it. Also, it has spacious and adjustable pedals. Its pros are, the steel construction is robust and firm. The back pedal mounts move from 10 to 40 degrees. The frame has adjustable wheels, pedals, and shifters. The pedal plate offers adequate room and utmost comfort to the leg. The seat is designed in a way that delivers the feel of a real driving seat. And it embodies a reclining seat that smoothly glides six inches back and forth on its rails. However, the wheel stand lacks sturdiness, and inexplicit instructions can be difficult to understand. Bottom line is, this simulator is easy to use for those who suffer from leg pain. It has an astoundingly rigid body to tractability, and you can use it with a large number of consoles. Next we have Race Room RR3055. It not only runs with most accessories available in the market, but also already includes a monitor, keyboard, and shifter bracket in the package. And every lazy person will love this game seat, for it can be stowed or removed in a few minutes. Its pros are the foldable leather-covered seat of great quality. It is quick and convenient to assemble and disassemble. The solid tube frame is adaptable to any body size. It is composed of an adjustable steering wheel bracket and an optimized pedal pad. And it is compatible with all wheels and pedals from Thrustmaster, Logitech, and Fanatec. However, the product might be expensive for some and somewhat makes a creaking noise with time. Bottom line is, it has a foldable backrest for simplified storage. The pedal pad is ergonomically built, and it has a steel framework for a longer lifespan. Next we have Runner-Up GTR Simulator GTA-F model. This rig is incredibly substantial in withstanding huge weights like up to 440 pounds. In addition to the firm and rigid structure, it is also attractive in design and looks cool wherever you place it in your home. Its pros are, this is a wiggle-free simulator. It includes a super reclining seat and a single or triple monitor holder. It has a wonderfully durable diamond silver frame with a powder-coated finish. A well-built aerodynamic profile adds complement to its infrangible and stylish design. It consists of the steering wheel plate, steering angle, pedal angle, and frame length, all adjustable. And it is friendly, with all gaming consoles including PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, Xbox One, Nintendo Wii, Nintendo GameCube, N64, Sega, and many more. 
However, it has a tedious assembly. It is non-portable due to its heavy body and not so easy to store due to the large size. Bottom line is, it is adjustable in 14 different ways. It supports all gaming consoles and the frame is made from long-lasting diamond silver. Finally, we have best overall play seat challenge. Customers, especially heavyweight individuals, are satisfied with the quality of this simulator. They love the portability of this product. According to most buyers, its adjustability is outstanding as now they can even store it under their beds or behind sofas. Its pros are, there is no need to detach the hardware when folding the simulator. The simulator is easy to use and takes only 10 minutes to set up. The pedals can be extended out and lifted up and down by placing some support underneath them. It efficiently accommodates 4 to 7 feet tall and up to 270 pounds, making it suitable for adults and children as well. With a foldable powder-coated steel framework, the seat occupies little space when not in use and also during transport. And it runs with PC, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, Xbox 360, and Xbox One and PCs by Fanatec, Logitech, Thrustmaster, and Madcats. However, it is less durable than a permanent cockpit. Getting in and out of the seat is awkward, and the wheel mounting area needs to be lifted for getting in and out of the simulator, which is quite odd. Bottom line is, it has a collapsible design for easy storage. It's a highly durable steel framework, and it is compatible with most PlayStation and Xbox consoles. There you have it, our top five best racing simulator seats on the market. Check out the links in the description below for detailed information and the latest pricing. If you thought this video was helpful, please smash that like button and consider subscribing. If you didn't, let me know why in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next video.